Welcome back to Area DMG or Radio DMG if you're listening to this in just the audio. I'm Phil the Mile I Mile and I'm here at Non Desk on 22, 2022, 2022 with. Hi, I'm Olivia Swayze. And I am John Swayze. And just in case our studio audience may be not familiar with who you are and what you do, who are you and what do you do? Well, I'm her father. Yeah, I'd like to clarify thing. that right off the bat. Yeah. We are not. We're not married. Not married. Not married. No. Mm-mm. A lot of confusion at conventions. I don't understand why. Up, there's one room and one bed. One bed. It's no, been a whole... no, no, no. But NDK has been the best. They got me my own room this year. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Anyways, y- you can go first. No, no, no. Ladies first. All right. Um, hi, I'm Olivia Swayze. Uh, I'm here at NDK as a voice actor. It's my first time here, and I'm elated to be here. Um, but I've actually been a professional actor for a while now in all different sorts of mediums, on stage, film, behind the mic, um, all sorts of stuff. I was the Enron building baby when I was an infant. Pretty proud of that one. Um, yeah, and I just graduated from the University of Houston in, this past May in 2022. Go kooks! And, I, yeah, I'm just very excited to be here. We should point out that the building baby had nothing to do with the demise and fall of Enron. <laughs> <laughs> we know who was responsible. Anyway, my name is John Swayze, and uh, I'm a voice actor, uh, film actor, television, whatnot. Um, I've been acting professionally for 30 some odd years, 35 years, I think, and uh, 27 of those years have been in the anime space. And um, I now am a full time director at Sentai Filmworks. And um, I uh, uh, have been acting, uh, doing uh, tons of characters and, and whatnot, and I go to conventions. So my life has actually gone from doing film and television and radio and, and commercials to, and a little bit of anime, to doing nothing but anime. So that's, uh, uh, it's one of those things that, um, you know, never, don't, you want to make God laugh, make a plan. And uh, that's what I did with my career. So, but I couldn't be more happy. I'm thrilled to do it. Um, you know, thrilled to get my daughter involved and, and, and help her when I can. And she's an amazing talent, far more talented than I. It's could been ever lovely be. taking over the family business. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, some of the characters that I played, uh, my biggest one probably to date is uh, All for One from uh, My Hero Academia. Um, but I've uh, had the good fortune of playing hundreds and hundreds of characters and hundreds and hundreds of anime and uh, according to Anime News Network, I'm the most prolific male voice actor in North America. So that and five bucks will get me a Starbucks. <laughs> so, but just the, just, just, just the little one. Just the little one, yeah. <laughs> not the grande. You want the short. <laughs> Maybe so, a little the espresso. You're like, I just want to yeah. die. Here's some beans, sir. <laughs> Good well, job. He needs yeah. some lukewarm water just to yeah. yell at it till it gets hot enough. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. Yeah, my favorite kind of brew. So, so um, you've been here to non Descon before. You haven't been here to non Descon before. What is your opinion of how, how we are um, in comparing to last year? And what's your opinion of us this year, your first year? Yeah. So, uh, I was here last year uh, in 2021, and it was a unique time because we were, cons were just coming out and coming back. I mean, even in 2020, there were a few that muddled through and, and, you know, and I went to a few of them and it was, uh, I saw some, uh, they did some good work as far as safety goes, in my opinion. Um, But a lot of people canceled to, you know, play it safe and and you certainly can't fault them for that. Um, But when we, 2021 started to pick up steam in about March, and shows started to go okay and and you know it's kind of like well if they're doing it maybe we can do it and that kind of thing and uh, so I was invited to NDK and uh, got up here my in-laws live in Colorado Springs so it was kind of cool you know they were able to come up and we you know were able to get together but this is hands down the best run con I've ever you know um, experienced the the staff is tremendous the volunteers you know, 300 strong. Uh, it's a big show, um, but it, it, it still feels very uh, family-esque. Um, it's very family-oriented, I like that. But there is, you know, they do have stuff for the adults and, you know, but it's not a, it, it does, it's kind of right in the middle, you know, it doesn't lean one way or the other too much. And But the it's really the, the fans and the, the staff that are amazing. And then all of the, 
the things they do. You know, it's not just a bunch of vendors and artists and actors in a hall selling their wares. You know, there's panels and there's uh, a rich uh, Japanese culture deep dive. Um, you know, they have a museum here. They have um, all kinds of stuff that is unique programming that I've never seen at any other convention. Um, and that's uh, one of the things I love about it. And they have the best green room in the world. Oof. So, they have breakfast, two, lunch, and dinner. Two humidifiers, deep, two humidifiers in the, in the green room, which stunned me. I don't know why that blew me away so much, I, I but I was either. like, oh, luxury. But anyway, it, it's, it's great. And then this year is, you know, I was expecting it. And it's, it's gone even above and beyond what it was last year, so. Yeah, my first time at NDK has been an absolute blast so far. Um, first of all, they're the first convention that ever got me my own hotel room, which is pretty cool. Um, I was really all about that. And then getting to meet the community that, you know, seems to return to NDK year after year is kind of what I'm gathering. That's also been, sorry, that's also been, uh, oh, that's also been so wonderful. Um, getting to become a part of that community and always the anime community has been so welcoming and, and always celebrated fellowship and stuff like that, which, which I really appreciate. Um, but the green room is awesome. It is incredibly organized. I, I'm shocked at, at how there's a label for everything I look at and the programming is so extensive. I, I think it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And it, it really it's is a great size con and like, Again, one of the best, no, the best opening ceremonies I've ever seen. Indeed. Received. You know, the only way they can improve is if they um, if the got, the, back. Got, the, got the actors like little segues. So we could just, because <laughs> literally our rooms are on that end of the hotel and the convention is on that end of the hotel. So it's, I mean, the good news is you get your steps in. <laughs> But it's like, oh my gosh, we got to walk back all the way over there. So it's like, you know what we need is we need a little, like a, a hoverboard or something. We could just. Ooh, mm -hmm. you think you can handle a hoverboard? I don't know. Yeah. Probably not. That's probably why they don't. <laughs> probably why they don't have them. Well, maybe with little motorized scooters, or they could get like a little sleigh there and um, have Jeremy um, run the little motor thing there and take you all the that. Yeah, I would yeah. love to see Jeremy yeah, like, on a sleigh. Like a, He's pulling you guys on a chariot or something. Yeah. Like I that. was picturing he was Santa bringing gifts oh. from the green room. Wait, then that would make you guys the reindeer. I don't think you want to do that. No, no. <laughs> Being Rudolph doesn't no, seem I'm, like I'm, a I'm thinking opportunity. Like something, I'm thinking like a cart that sits down by the elevators, like you see in the airport that takes you to your plane for people that uh, are like uh, older. Uh, or, uh, yeah, like beep, 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 coming that goes, through. That goes way slower than people walk, for sure. I know it does because there's so many people, it just sits there. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a ton of people, and that would be kind of a little intricate to bring through there. And speaking of intricate, have you seen some of the cosplay out there? What is Amazing. your favorite one from this from this weekend? So we far? were literally talking, we were talking about, about that, that on yeah. the way down here. My, my favorite thus far has been uh, uh, I saw a, um, yeah, well, there's one, there's been a couple, but the one that I, I thought was the most impressive was uh, it was uh, Elric and Alphonse. And the Alphonse was like, you know, super tall. And it was a husband and wife. And the, the husband was Elric. And the wife was, I don't know what she was dressed as, not really anything. But then they had this giant Alphonse. And the person took off their helmet and it was their little girl. <laughs> she was on stilts. And she was just like, and they were just like, yeah, everyone reacts that way. I mean, was, it, it was, just, was that the big robot thing? It was the big silver looking robot Oh, thing, yeah. that was my favorite too. Yeah, Alphonse is kind of a big mechanical thing. But, but anyway. my other favorite one was the guy who brought you the all for one mask. He, that was pretty cool too. That was awesome. Yeah, we saw a really cool all for one. He like, it was very detailed, very mm -hmm. well put together. And he like came up and dad like put it on. I have a great <laughs> picture of dad with the. One very thing that I've noticed, and we were talking about this, but uh, 3D printers have been a game changer for cosplay. Because you can make your parts and put them together. You know. Just absolutely impossible parts put together. Right, right. It used to be you went to Home Depot and bought some garden hose and some PVC pipe and a trash can, you know, and painted it. Now <laughs> it's like, <laughs> now it's like I want to. Here's what I want, and you just spec it out, and then it prints it, and it's made of plastic and resin and whatnot, and it, it's perfect. You paint it the way you want it, and it looks like, wow. That's the way it would be in the movie. I'm excited for you to craft a cosplay. I feel like it's coming. <laughs> it's so yeah. amazing. I want to do Dodoria. 
I want you to do Dodoria I mean, too. I've never seen a Dodoria cosplay. That's what I want to say. <laughs> so, um, going back to, back to the convention again, you did you mentioned like cosplay you like about it and what you like about the organization. One thing I love about this convention myself is the energy of the convention. And um, what I've noticed sometimes in these trying times, we've seen people go to these conventions, have tons and tons of energy, and then when they get out of the convention, all that energy just falls flat when they go into the everyday kind of normal normalcy. Um, do you have any suggestions on how they can take that con energy, take that love and appreciation from here, and hold on to it during the trying days of everyday mm. tribulation? <laughs> I love, I heart support that works. I heart groups of people that you feel safe, comfortable, and supported by. And I think that anime conventions provide excellent support met support networks for so many of the attendees, so many of the guests, so many of the staff members, all of the above. And I think maintaining those relationships, touching base over Messenger, DMing on Instagram, FaceTiming on WhatsApp, like those kinds of things, if they brought you joy then, you know, they'll keep bringing you joy and touching base with another human being that is like, hey, I get you. I know what you're going through because I'm going through it too. And I support you and you support me. And I don't know. I think fellowship is one of the best tenets of the anime world. I'm yeah. all over it. I don't know how you take that energy away from here because you, you know, you kind of leave it all on the field. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're, you're spent. I know when I get home after a convention and I'm doing a lot, I'm doing like 40, 45 events this year. So uh, when I get home, Monday, I'm a basket case. <laughs> I'm, and I'm not even staying up as late and partying as hard as, these, as some of these kids are, you know, but it's just, it is, it's exhausting. You know, you, um, you're given all you can and you want, uh, you know, even when you're tired and you're, you know, you want the person to have a really good experience and you want that person to have the same level of experience that somebody had when you first walked in and you were all fired up. So, um, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't surprise me that everyone just afterwards is just like, <sighs> so I'm not sure you can do it, but it's so all you just got to keep going every weekend. Yeah. Yeah. New yeah. con every weekend. So, um, when you get out of here though, well, how can people support you in like, where can they find you? What are you currently working on that you'd like to support by promoting here? And, uh, yeah, we'll wrap that up with that. I think Dad and I are both down to plug the new show that we both just finished working on called I'm Quitting Heroing. It's out on High Dive. It's a simulcast. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, check out High Dive. It's, uh, awesome. it's a streaming platform. Um, uh, it's very inexpensive. But there's it's a like ton $5 of a month. Yeah. Um, you know, I've got tons of projects I'm working on. Uh, none of them I have enough time to give to because I'm too busy going to anime conventions <laughs> <laughs> and directing full time. But... Um, yeah, you can find me on Facebook or on Instagram. Uh, I'm not sure I even have a Twitter account anymore. I, I I'm don't bailing know. on Twitter, I just, man. I don't it's like a Twitter hard anyway, place to live. It is. Uh, but Instagram for sure. And, you know, like I'll friend California. anybody. I want to have as many friends as I can. So Yeah, I'm on Instagram, sure. Facebook, the same. I'm not really into Twitter. But, oh, Dad has a TikTok. I do. <laughs> Definitely TikTok. I do have a TikTok. I'm not exactly sure how to use it yet, but I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. Oh, you have so much to learn. <laughs> my my kids call me a boomer. Mm -hmm. and I, He's like the Dan Bovenmere of that. So, anyways, um, <laughs> I, 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 so I want to thank you for for coming to Non Descon 2022 and honoring us with being able to do this interview. And um, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Philip with uh, Philip uh, the Mile I'm Out with uh, Area DMG DMGI, and I've been talking to Olivia Swayze and John Swayze. And we will promote your TikTok once you figure it out how to, how to use it. <laughs> Sounds good. Next time, you are now caught up. Morning, Maya.